I'm Soledad O'Brien. Welcome to Matter of Fact. Americans are living longer than past generations, and that can mean facing hard choices about how to manage their ongoing health care needs. With a high cost of assisted living, many seniors are aging at home. They're relying on home care workers for much needed help with day to day life. But there's a severe staffing shortage. Industry experts say that nearly one million new caregivers are needed to meet the current demand. Low wages, few if any benefits, and no paid time off make recruiting and retaining workers difficult. Home care jobs pay a median rate of $14 an hour, and North Carolina ranks near the bottom when it comes to support for home care workers. Our correspondent, Dan Lieberman, traveled to the state to hear from clients and caregivers firsthand. She's my lifesaver. I'm serious. 80-year-old Sally Hawk has a special bond with Joan Kester, who's been her home health care aide for the last seven years. I've had two major operations on my back, and three on my neck, and one on my hand, one on my arm. It's really tough, and I'm scared of the bathtub because you have to lift your legs so hard to get in and out. And the doctor said, if I fall, I can't have another operation. Sally suffered a debilitating back injury in 2016. With no family nearby to care for her, she was paired with Joan through a local home care agency. I do this job because I can give care and compassion to the elderly that deserve to be cared for. Joan is a certified nursing assistant with three decades of experience. She works 70 hours a week, seven days a week, taking care of five clients for $14 an hour. You can go out there and find a job at McDonald's making more than you can for home health. Home care workers are in short supply here in Wilmington, North Carolina, where like so much of the country, a tight labor market and increasingly high cost of living is making it hard to attract workers. Do you ever think about other jobs that might be easier, that might pay more? I know they're out there. I see it. That's not for me. This is my calling. So we're on tons of different job boards. But At Bayada Home Health Care Agency, looking for staff is a full-time job for director Matthew Hannigan. With a staff of 100, he needs twice as many workers. Almost every day, somebody either goes without care or their schedule is affected. Why is it so hard to find people to do this job? It's a hard job. <laughs> That's the thing. We sort of live and die, I guess, by our reimbursement rates that we get back. He's talking about Medicaid reimbursement rates set by each state and paid for with a mix of federal and state dollars. That rate determines what agencies can pay workers by the hour. How do you get by? I cut back on going places other than work. I cut back with my food, going shopping. I don't go shopping because I can't afford to. These workers, they can't afford their own life, yet they're being asked to do this very difficult job. So what needs to change? I mean, really, I think it comes down to the funding. We need to figure out a way to, to pay them a living wage at this point. There is a crisis. There is such demand for home care workers. We have Kezia Scales is an expert on the direct care workforce for PHI, a research institution focused on improving elder care and disability services. Workforce projections uh, uh, suggest that we're going to need nearly a million new workers to meet demand. The magnitude of the challenge is really quite astounding at this point. In our culture, is there this idea that if it's your family member, you should take care of your own family. This responsibility doesn't really fall on taxpayers. Family caregivers provide the lion's share of long-term care, long-term supports. But families cannot do it all. Some, some individuals don't have families close by. There is also a role for, for public policy to, to meet needs that are not already met by family caregivers. At Duke Raleigh Hospital, case manager Amy Fercola sees patients staying longer because of the shortage of home health care workers. They'll give us an idea of when they could potentially pick up a new patient. Um, and sometimes that's weeks. The phone is nonstop all day long. We have a waiting list through one of our programs that has well over 100 people on it. And how long do people have to wait for care? Uh, we have people that have been on there for two years. Sally Hawk's children live out of state, 
so she feels lucky to have Joan in her life. You have children, but why is it important to still have Joan every day? Because they're not here. I'm by myself. I wouldn't have any way to get groceries or anything. I feel like I'm a burden to her sometimes. I need her so much. I'm a proud person. For matter of fact, I'm Dan Lieberman in Wilmington, North Carolina.